If you understand soil, you will win and be able to grow tons of food. And sometimes it won't even cost you anything. If you have the right soil, you can grow almost anything and even a half an inch of soil. Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. Today, I want to talk about soil. It may or may not be planting season where you are, but it's good to know because there are things we're all going to have to do as soon as planting season comes. And you know what? Maybe you'll be ready. Yesterday, I planted up these onions and I just put them out here so they're going to take off and grow. But here's the thing. This container was already growing tomatoes and a lot of different plants and they were starting to die back. So I planted the onions, but, so this is what I want you to see. This just came out of this tote. Look at this. I had tomatoes and different things growing. I also in. refurbished the soil. As I dug through, I saw it was well broken down, rich, beautiful, and black, but there was something missing. What was missing? There were no earthworms. Probably not much in microbes either, because everything I had put in there had completely disappeared already. Everything ate it down. Everything grew into beautiful plants, but there was nothing left. That's okay if you're gonna grow carrots and radishes and plants like that. Even the onions probably wouldn't mind it because they don't need a ton of food. But if you were gonna do something like squash or peppers or tomatoes or anything, cucumbers, it would need a lot more than what was already in there. Now, of course, I want earthworms and microbes in my soil. And if they're not there, things could grow slower or you may end up needing to get plant food. And I don't use plant food, you know that. So all you have to do, it's very simple, is find where your pot is draining or your container, which is there. You can move everything away and refill it. And I refill it just like I would if it was a new tote. And you'll see what I do. I throw in all kinds of stuff. I throw in toilet paper rolls and leaves. And remember, kitchen scraps is nothing more than stuff that already came out of your garden that either rotted or you didn't like, or it was the off cuts that you don't use. Everything goes in there. And then you take the soil that was already in there and push it over. That's it. Now the earthworms, the microbes will come back. You can always put a picture, that is true. And I'm going to be putting pictures and stuff. You can watch the video on that. But for this, I don't think I need a picture for onions. But if you were growing something else, you could. The point is, you have to build the soil back. Now, you would say, wait a minute, but it was all in there. It, that's true, but you know, it doesn't hurt to build back. Think of mother nature. Look around and you will see that Soil is being built every single day by things falling on the ground from trees. Leaves! That's why I want you to collect your leaves now if you can, or early spring before you plant, so you'll have that that you can bury in your totes. I would rather have you make your own soil practically for nothing. Buy a good brand. Buy a brand that's well known if you want to put some on the top. Then just go and buy cheap soil. I have bought some cheap soil and let me tell you, some of it last year was not good. There were probably things in it that inhibited plant growth. They may not have even known it when they composted it and had it all ready to go. If it's not tested and it costs a lot of money to test, they may not know there were herbicides in there. Who knows? There's been free soil given away by companies some of your local trash companies, they compost a lot. I was nabbed on that. We had to take everything and throw it into the trash. Nothing grew. Plants were little stunted and yellow. And keep in mind, when you buy soil from the store and you open up a bag and you dump it in a container, I will tell you, nothing comes. There's no earthworms coming to it. There's very little microbes, if any, coming to it because it's already done. I want soil that's alive that's rich, that everything wants to come to. That's the soil I want. And you know what? That's the soil you want to. And that is a true way to win for your garden by making your own soil, like Mother Nature. So there it is, a few days later, they're looking really good. And that's what you want to do. Don't worry if the leaves are still buried and they're not broke down yet. 
these plants are thriving, knowing that they've got real soil like Mother Nature makes. You can put a picture if you want in there, go watch a video, but just burying some leaves and starting all over and leaving the original soil in there will bring your earthworms, will bring the microbes, and you can continue to grow without putting out a lot of work. Do you know what she wants? You all know what she wants. And you know what she's done? She's been picking it herself. But there it is. So grow fresh for yourself and your family, and of course, for your pets too. With that, I hope I've given you some ideas on how important it is to make your own soil. Not only is it free when you make your own soil, but the thing is, your plants will enjoy it even more. And so will you, knowing you didn't put out hundreds and hundreds of dollars to grow a small garden for yourself. With that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. See, we save all our leaves and we make our own soil, right? <laughs>